Sometimes the key to cooking fish is to keep it simple. I know this from experience, everybody. Showing us how to prepare a sea bass like a pro is our friend, executive chef of Chica Restaurant at the Venetian, Lorena Garcia. Yeah, Welcome back, you. Lorena. Thank you. Thank you for being it. here. Oh, this amazing. is going to be so good. So good, in fact, that Debbie is joined by Kim and Kim at the counter. You're they ready know to go. How good. Oh I like to they, go from, you know, from tasting all the way to let's make it. That's right. That's right. You start at the end, and now we're going to show you how you get there. Exactly. Now, here's the thing about this dish. I understand that you are using Latin spices. Oh, my from goodness. all over the world. Yes. In this well, you know, the idea is the, of Chica, my restaurant in yes. Las Vegas, is the celebration of Latin cuisine as a whole, as a culture. So you're going to see Beautiful. a little bit of guajillos from Mexico that give us that nuttiness and that spice. And then you have the corns and, for example, the choclo from uh, Peru. Right, oh, that so is so good. good. Mm -hmm. And then the fish, a striped bass, a sea bass. I mean, a nice fish that you can have at home. Yeah. That's the one to I want to you choose to know, for. I didn't even know what this was when I first walked up. And looked at it. I was like, that is a corn from Peru. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so yes. we're going to start with the fish. Um, we're going to start with the fish. Okay. So check it out. Skin side first on the bottom. And it might nice. seem a little bit too much, but let me tell you, the key is to do mm. a little bit of cuts so it doesn't curl up. Okay. And let's make sure that we season both sides. Okay, okay? season both sides. Yes, very important. I like your technique, just in case you're wondering. It looks fantastic <laughs> to me. And look at that. These have been already preheated. So the the first thing again, you okay. gonna see you see the sizzle that you're gonna hear. Yeah. That's what you want. That's what you mm. want. Yes, and then you're gonna oh, take yeah. the spatula so it doesn't curl up. You just for a second or two. And that helps get it crispy. Is that the yes. idea? We got a little oil in that pan. Exactly. You want it pretty hot? Would you say? Uh, I would say medium high. Medium high. Medium okay, high. very good. Very you don't want to burn it either, so it's, it's very important. But you want that skin. So you see, immediately once it's, it's staying touch with the hot surface, yes, uh, it's not going to curl anymore. Okay. So you just do it at the beginning. You just press it, and this fish is so delicious. It's nice. It's and delicious, right? Lorena. And, and it's exactly it's mild, which is something that I love. And, and I that to base sauce it in, is amazing. And some too. butter, right? We were talking about this earlier. Oh, so yes. now, what does that do? Okay. Basting it in butter. Ooh. So basing it in butter, what we like to do? So I'm, I'm going to let it kind of sear until that night is nice and crispy in oh, the okay, bottom. Okay. And then when we turn it around, we're gotcha. gonna put, that's when the butter comes in. That's when the butter comes in. And the idea is that you're going to be able to baste it and kind of make it nice and nutty, right? It makes almost like juicy the fish. Yeah, and you can beautiful. control the inside so it's not overcooked. And how do you know when that's the time to do uh -huh. that? Like, what, do you, what do we see? Uh -huh. Super important. Yeah. So you know that people sometimes, they start going like, yeah. oh my God, it's thick. I don't know anybody like that. Uh -huh. total peak. Are you fighting with a spatula? You <laughs> see like the fish, you at the end of the day, you have like this, you know, pieces of fish yeah, yeah. because you have to let the fire okay. do its job. Okay. So when you're going to know it, it's supposed to, you're going to see it's going to get translucent on the edges and it's going to peel right off. Even just if you're like grilling, mm. you just have to be able to, you look, nothing look sticks to it. So that's you just, when you know. that's when you know. We're going to turn it around. It's beautiful, Lorena. And that's it. And this at the moment, as soon, as soon as you turn it around, what I like to do, I take the butter. I put it in a corner. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can actually, right. if you want to add a little bit of that lemon juice from the Sokotash, you put so it in, in there oh, too. And then you're just going to take this butter, you see it's going to melt, and you're just going to continue to crisp it up. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my home. Look right, how good uh, this looks. There's a reason like that your love? restaurant in Vegas is so successful. Yeah. I'd like to say congratulations on your second anniversary. That's Thank right, everybody. So second anniversary of Chico. I it's not easy it. to have a restaurant in <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> and and also, you changed the face of the restaurant world in Vegas I as, did. as being the first mm. woman on the strip. Let me tell you, I'm a woman, I'm a Latina, know. you know, so hey, that's who I am, yes. so I'm, I'm just happy to be lucky and, and well, excited. Well, no lucky, Super. they're skilled. No. No. They're incredible at what you do. Okay, so while Thank the you, fish look. cooks a little longer in, yes. in so that you see, butter. I lower it and yep. then just come, you know, come back and forth. You know, don't be afraid. Just take the butter, you know, me, look at that nuttiness of the butter, the kind of. And I like my, my fish to be nice and soft in the middle. So mm. I will say that the fish right there, I'm going to turn it off. Turn and it. hold it, okay. turn it off. How You're, long, about how long does keep it, it usually out. take? I always end up overcooking my fish. Yes, three minutes each side three for minutes. a fish like that. If it's yes. that thin, yeah. It's already it's turned off thin. just like that. I gotta say, sea bass That's for it. me is a little intimidating, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you just right. made that pretty simple, so yeah. I appreciate that. Okay, now we're moving on to we're the corn yes. succotash. Yes! My little succotash is... Sounds great. Never mind usually, how it tastes. <laughs> Sounds amazing. <laughs> it sounds amazing. It's usually like kind of combination of different beans. And what a better way to do a sokotash with, uh, with you know, different beans from South America, right? Different so, beans, different corn. Yes, you, got that? Okay, you have the Peruvian corn. You have the regular corn that we actually grilled it a little bit. Thank you, love. You're very welcome. And then we have a little bit of black eyed peas and black beans, which I think they go really well. Very okay. Good. Okay. Very good. This. Very good. At this moment, what we're going to do, we're going to add, of course, lemon juice. Delicious. 
Salt and pepper always very important that we need to season it really well constantly, right? We, we have to kind of look at that and then you have, oh, oh it just beautiful. smells so good, right? It's so <laughs> good. Just like spring. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. So uh, that that base that we kind of toasted, yep. the garlic and the shallots, yes. it's what's going to give you that kind of a tone. How right? long do you think we have that on there for? This, it will be for two, three minutes because remember oh, that the, the beans we already cooked and the corn is already bland. That's right. You, and yeah. you um, you charred the, the corn a little bit there. Exactly. And what was that that we just put A little in? bit of cilantro. A little bit of cilantro. I love cilantro. Not you guys correct. like cilantro? Yes. <laughs> Lorena, I could just listen to you talk all day long. Right? You could read the phone book. I know. I just, just to hear I'm your accent. You. It's so beautiful. It's great. I love you know it. what? Everybody can listen to you talk May 9th through 12th at Vegas on Cork, right? Oh, my God. Right. Let me tell you, Vegas on Cork is one of those events in Las Vegas that puts together the most amazing group of celebrity chefs all together in one place. I rarely see this in any other food show. Wow. So that's why I'm so excited to be a part of it. All of your colleagues are oh going to be there. Oh my God, from it's a big Gordon Ramsay, you're going to see, I mean, everybody goes there. Giada is going to be there. So it's really cool. I totally invite you guys. It's from nine, uh, May 9th to the 12th and on Sunday, which is the 12th, I have my mimosa brunch because I celebrate oh. Mother's Day. Oh. Yo, there you go, there you go. Oh. My two-year anniversary and on court. Oh. I mean, you have to come to this brunch. It's really delicious. Okay, so, so check it out. We're going to oh, have a little taste now. Yes. I, I, I'm just um, keeping things moving along. You think this is ready? Oh? Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh. Well, this is ready. Look at that. You're going to have your socotash. Okay. Right? You put your fish. And then I have this wajillo sauce. Check it out, though. We're gonna just add a tablespoon. Okay. And we're gonna, oh my God, this is gonna put it all together. That Go sauce ahead. is pretty special, isn't it? Yes, too? look at that sauce. <laughs> and then a little bit of cilantro right on top. It's so good, Cameron. Oh, to finish man. it off. It's amazing. Can you tell? I'm like, I'm <laughs> like. <laughs> Are you ready? I love it. I love Let's it. Can I have a little taste Of course. Now? Am I, I ready? You, taste. you go that side, I'll go this side. I'll go this side. side. Okay, let that? me know we'll what you think. Come at it from different sides. And it's not gonna be overcooked at all. Here we go. You're mm. a lot more graceful than me. I can't even get it Beautiful. on Beautiful. <laughs> You've done a fantastic job. Boom. Once again, boom. What can boom. I say? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? I am amazing it's in the so kitchen. <laughs> I am amazing you in the kitchen. You will also see Cameron at um, <laughs> Vegas. It's not happening at all. For the full recipe, visit hallmarkchannel.com, and you can connect with Lorena on her website. There's nothing suffering about that succotash. Mm -hmm. uh,